Gods and goddesses in training, welcome back to the channel. It's Uncle Makara. Let's get started today. Today we're talking all about the energy of Saturn, okay? This is what rules 2024. The energy of Shani in the Vedic Hindu system, okay? Now, I'm not particularly interested in the astrological side, but more so what Saturn or Shani represents. And let's start to understand how to really work with this energy. Now, Shani's energy, I believe, is one that is almost like a Robin Hood type of energy. It's an outlaw type of energy. But it believes in honor, justice, and justice will be served, trust me. So this year, a lot of the elites will be taken down by this energy. Okay, they'll be exposed to the truth and they'll be humbled. If you choose to humble yourself right now and you start putting in the hard work, the work ethic, the discipline, you won't start feeling this laziness or this indolence or this slow sluggish type of state. And that's kind of what I'm looking towards with peak performance shamanism. We have a mystery school. We discuss way more of these teachings, highly advanced. We also share the mantras available um, on there. So if you are interested, definitely shoot me a message. So let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, I would say you should donate this year for sure. For sure, give something to charity, give back in some way, okay? And even going and meeting people who are in a worse off condition than you. Something like volunteering could even be a very good idea. Second thing I would say is work on your discipline and your self-discipline, but be sincere in your discipline. Don't be arrogant. Don't be braggadocious about it. Just humble yourself because this energy loves that humility. It loves the hard worker. It doesn't love, you know, the power ruling class, but it can give you power. And that's why we're, we're so scared of Saturn because we're scared of power. You see what I'm saying? So understand that in the mythologies, Shani used to be the sun of the sun, Surya, okay? Surya is the sun god. Shani, always got cast out by his father, right? So he's, he's usually represented as darkness, okay? Which is why his skin is represented as darkness and dark. And I think that's to do with our fear of the unknown. I, I, th this is again, this is my own interpretation, okay? So other channels, they can give you whatever else, okay? But this is purely transmitted through me. I'm a channeler, I'm a positive psychologist, okay? I see things in a very unique way. That's why uh, you guys are on this channel and, and you're learning from this, right? The darkness is something that we fear. And this is very interesting because Shani also worships Kalabhairava and Kali. These are two very, very destructive forces, destructive energies, okay? Where complete annihilation, right? Um, it's very important to understand these energies because they're associated with time, okay? And time is a very important concept because time always is catching up to you, right? You always feel like you have not enough time or too much time. There might be some energies around time. Have you ever thought of having like a, a spiritual dream team of different deities? This is what we're doing at Primal Sutra, guys. If you can create and understand that I have my own path and I can create whichever journey that I choose because I'm the choice point, I am that I am, I can enter zero point and I can decide for myself which energy that I wish to choose, that I wish to delve into and you empower yourself along this process, man. So humble yourself, like cleaning things like your room, the bathroom. So we had a Janus channeling last night and Janus was like, pick up things 
off of your floor like no clothes on the floor for the next three days that was my challenge and everybody else got a challenge but it's really interesting that he gave me that challenge man it's it's so funny to be called out by these deities to be honest with you it's quite hilarious uh, there's nothing to hide from them they know everything okay like i've tried to kind of be polite and create a distance with some of these deities and just be like you know friendly talk oh hi hey there how's it going they're like oh um, no to surface level let's go deeper what's really troubling you right they go they like to go immediately to the root cause and they try to heal from that deep primal level so with shani or saturn in your astrological chart obviously that's going to have some level of effect on you what i would highly recommend is that you make the tribute for shani very very simple okay you can print out a little picture of him and you simply this is my own experience and what works the image of like an old lantern or a lamp okay there's something powerful about that. He doesn't want sweets and chocolates and, you know, all these different extravagant gifts of luxury and wealth. Very simple. Okay? The energy, it wants this very simple energy. Or you can just light a candle for it. Okay? It loves simplicity and it loves that edge of refinement. Okay? I think... Saturn's energy has this very interesting luck and instant karma component to it. So the eight, right? 2024 adds up to eight. And um, eight is the number of infinity. Eight is the number of what goes around, comes around. Okay? So whatever good, whatever... If you are living honestly, okay? If you are living with pure authenticity and honesty, this energy is going to serve you. The more sincere you are and you call out people's bullshit without being rude to them. That's the energy. You're setting the justice, okay? This is the lawyer energy. This is the judge. This is the one that decides the word meaning to cut out all other distractions. Okay? Put your head down and start working. Start creating discipline in your life. This is the time, guys. So this is a good year to get a lot of work done, okay? Which is why I'm going to start writing my new book, okay? The Primal Sutra Grimoire uh, that I'm currently working on, okay? It's been a very long time coming, but I think this is a very, very powerful journey that exceeds anything that you thought was normal or expected of it or, you know? It goes beyond anything that I've ever experienced in my life. My 30 years on this planet, there's been a lot of things that I've experienced, man. And this is by far one of the most interesting things is how we can fuse flow state with mysticism. It's all coming together. We're opening our doors to nine people for this year. Let's see what comes about with this process, with this journey with these powerful underpinnings of teachings and undertakings. If you ever feel like this clunky feeling or like you're slowing down, you're becoming lethargic, listen to a mantra and also start saying Jai Shani Dev. You can do this anywhere. Um, just repeat it in your mind. You don't have to say it out loud, but just repeat it in your mind. Jai Shani Dev, Jai Shani Dev, Jai Shani Dev, Jai Shani Dev, Jai Shani Dev. You're giving him praise, you're giving him worship and you're understanding that this is a very, very adept teacher. He's teaching through the long-term game because Shani likes what is long-lasting. Saturn wants you to create a legacy. It wants you to create something that is sustainable, that the sands of time can't easily flicker it away. That's why he hates false pretense, okay, lies, deception. No, it's there to get towards what is real. And that's also the energy of the dragon. And this is the year of the dragon. So start to understand that now it's time to really come into my light, man, and share what I'm about. Maybe you've been hiding a lot. Maybe you've been just, you know, being in your own world a lot. And that's completely valid. But the world needs to hear your voice. 
your sincere voice, the one that speaks from your core, the one that reverberates and affects people around you because it's from this deep warmth and love and compassion. But it's also, I'm going to stand up for something. I'm going to do something that is going to make my life more meaningful and live with much more value. You see, Saturn, the spiritual teacher, starts with S. Individuals under the influence of Saturn are very diligent. They're stable. They're reliable, man. Like, I can go and rely on that person because they put their time in. They put their work in. They're achieving some level of mastery in this. And I want to share that with them. I want to collaborate with them. With Janus's energy, we understand the cycles of time continuing. With Shani's energy, we understand the cycles of time continuing. If you'd like the Janus rec uh, recording, the channeled recording from last night, shoot me a message for that. So I'm going through a few notes that I'm sensing that I wrote down after the Shani channeling that we did quite a while ago, okay? So he said, how did I take over this simulation called life? I understood laziness does not get me results. I need to embrace intelligent lessons and grow. My name is Shani. If you feel a karmic justice pull, that something will pull the energy up to your crown. That is another secret to pleasure alchemy as it loosens the noose, a relaxed weapon a protective ferocity. Clarity of mind is true intelligence. Woo! Making sense of the nonsensical is what you do as a human. I stopped trying and I started being. Everything is perfect. Just take that thought as if you were to own it like a jacket. The mind's cave is where we hide the most secret of thoughts. Maybe you've understood this. You embrace the chaos. You acknowledge the submission from the cosmos to your brilliance in technical, alchemical, mental magic. We must time travel together as our thoughts collide like kaleidoscopes, fractal order out of a semblance of void. Fractal order out of a semblance of void a black hole ingested in a single gulp, an atomic reactor of a mantra that you carry, something as small as this can be made into an intention. The hair lost is the past, the hair gained is the future. Is he talking about me, bro? <laughs> what? And the hair owned is a privilege because some people just aren't as hairy as you. You need to have a little bit of furry soft feel. That's why God gave you hair. You see, the mightier the sword, the greater a warrior needed to wield it. When you carry heaven on your shoulders, you will start unburdening yourself. If you found any of these words compelling, deep, partly true, like there's something inside of you bubbling as I'm saying this, this is this energy, bro. This is this energy, girl. Okay? It's powerful, right? It fills you with some kind of a vigor or vitality once you start to really understand this. This morning, I was brain dead, like a zombie I woke up. And as soon as I started playing this mantra, something inside me shifted and I was like, I know exactly what to do. It's go time. Like Officer Tud Russell from Time Squad would say, it's go time. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever uh, knew of that character, but that's the energy. It's go time, okay? Time to put my nose in some books and start ingesting the knowledge and being powerful through the intelligent lessons that I get to evolve my character to the best version because really this is the energy of transformation, my friends. And we are here to transform ourselves, put ourselves into a pressure cooker. It's time to heat ourselves up so we come out of the other side charred and burned, being in complete bliss and harmony where nothing can touch us because all is perfect. Jay Shani Dev, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an incredible day today. Happy New Year. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the other side. Os.
May the flow be with you.